Hi guys, welcome to round four of Daytona Sandown Parks in car. Uh, you're joining me just on the outlap of practice um, and uh, I'm just going to show you a couple of laps of practice um, just because uh, it's sort of quite important for uh, how the day went. So um, instantly you can see here there's bags full of oversteer and actually at the minute I left the pit um, I could feel that there wasn't something quite right with the car. It almost felt like the chassis was really bent and it was almost crabbing as, as I went down the front straight. Um, so uh, just um, you know, sort of a little bit um, kind of alarmed by this and again you can see a little bit more oversteer here and, and um, it's a really really hot day. Um, it's uh, This is British Grand Prix day and at the British Grand Prix uh, around about three o'clock they recorded track temperatures out of 49 degrees and we're further south we're in uh, southwest London here um, so um, you know it's, it's really really warm now I'm just going to pull over and I'm, I'm just going to let a couple of carts go through because I want to test my cart against um, someone else here so you've got Sonny Elton and, um, and Jacob here Jacob um, who, Jacob Owen who's going to be our or currently at the moment is our main title rival um, he's ahead of me in the title at the moment but um, yeah we, we need to really see and, and test if um, if our car is um, kind of on the pace because if it's not if it's a substantial problem with it then we will need uh, to change it and Daytona do let you change it if there's a, a, a kind of obvious problem with it it does have to be a mechanical problem it's not just that you don't like it but I think I've, I've seen enough I'm not sure how how obvious it was on the camera there but um, coming out of the corners it, it, it really really wasn't moving anywhere um, so uh, it, it was instantly right from the first corner very um, very clear so George comes down here um, and very quickly moves me on to another cart so thank you to him and uh, this cart here this this first one um, actually we couldn't get that that started and um, else yeah, while I um, muck around with the, the pedals and everything um, that one it, it sort of dies there um, I'm just testing the the seat make sure that the seat doesn't move or anything like that so try it again and, uh, and it fails again um, and when I feel a, a, a pop um, and uh, oh no, I don't just yet actually. George is trying to clear the um, clear the, the car out, I think there. But uh, but something pops, and um, so that one is a no go. So we're going to try um, one three one, um, and um, let's see uh, let's see if we can get this one um, this one moving. Uh, just need to move the pedals forward um, or towards me. I like the pedals. Um, towards me and I like my seat position as far back as possible I find that that stabilizes the rear quite a lot um, so that's why I'm, I'm doing this it, it looks really um, looks really fussy but I find that when, when I sit too far forward the rear just goes everywhere um, so we're gonna try uh, this cart as well um, and uh, we have lost a little bit of time here but uh, you know um, yeah, that that is what it is and uh, <laughs> this cart stalls again so it is cold obviously the oil is cold and everything and a little bit of a stroke of luck actually, we come out um, just behind the two that we had let through before, so we've lost a couple of laps here, but um, we are again going to be able to test the cart um, with the same two drivers in front of us, so that's obviously pretty useful to know and instantly this cart feels much better now that the tires and the oil and the engine and, and everything is cold and I'm I'm sort of um, cold I'm not actually cold I'm baking hot but um, I'm, um, I'm sort of cold in, in terms of this cart and actually you can see that um, we are pretty much the infield straight length behind them and, and up here as well the top straight we're, we're pretty much the length of this straight behind so it'll be quite easy to tell next time around if this cart is um, sort of working as it should do because we'll either be um, similar uh, in a similar place to them uh, or yeah, we, we might be um, just behind or we might be uh, just gaining on them a little bit so um, yeah that, that's that's quite handy to tell you can see that there's some spectators up on the uh, the ridge there um, and uh, you know going into um, turn one turn two all feels good we do have a, a slightly slower cart ahead of us um, but you can see there that I think that we, we have actually gained slightly so um, instantly I'm feeling much much happier um, and, and much more confident in, in this cart. Uh, again, probably doesn't really demonstrate um, on the video 
well, as obviously as, as in, in real life, but that first car, yeah, definitely, it, it, it feel very, very odd. Um, so, um, yeah, we are back into a, a car that I think that we should be able to, to fight with, so that's going to be really, really important, and it's going through into turn one again, and again, um, shortly, we will be able to assess uh, whether or not we are um, making gains or if um, if we don't quite have the pace so this is um, and there we are uh, again looks looks like we're sort of noticeably closer so um, by the end of the session I was actually able to um, to sort of um, meet the back of um, of Sonny Elton and Jacob Owens there uh, so I'm going to go into the uh, heat one full of confidence actually um, you know sort of really pleased now this is the the national GP layout so this is the one that you do whenever you come down to Sandown Park this is the normal one um, and um, that is uh, obviously then the one that everyone knows so it's pretty important because I don't know the other layouts very well it's pretty important for me personally that I maximize this opportunity and you can see there um, you know there's, um, there's quite a lot of oversteer going on this it is so so hot there's not actually that much grip though um, and I think um, I think that's that's possibly due to the fact that being so hot, the tyres um, are just overheating. They're, um, you know, they're getting overinflated, um, was a little bit like a balloon, and, um, and and they're not actually yielding that much grip. So, um, uh, yeah. But like I was saying, we, uh, you know, we uh, we need to um, to maximise this opportunity because um, I suspect that my main title rivals are going to be quicker than me when it comes to the alternate or the alternate reverse layouts, which um, yeah, I've really done. Yes, yeah, sort of once, uh, once, once or twice. Um, you know, sort of certainly don't have the, the experience of those tracks like I do here. So, um, yeah, just putting um, putting a few more laps in. And again, it looks like uh, I think I'm I'm pretty good around turn one and two actually, um, and uh, that that sort of um, where I am gapping quite a few people uh, so that camera slows down a bit there um, and uh, you know maybe I think it's it's this section here that I perhaps need to spend a little bit of time on as Sonny Elton goes into the pits there so he's obviously noticed something with his cart that he wants to um, have the marshals have a look at um, now I did actually do um, the in cart uh, uh, Sodi just before but in actual fact I'll, I'll talk to you about that in just a moment uh, because we're starting on pole here um, so um, yeah it felt good after uh, qualifying or um, practice I should say actually it's not really qualifying but it felt good after practice the car on our left just moves over on us slightly there's obviously nowhere for, for us to go um, and uh, we're going to lead into turn one now I have to be honest I, I was a little bit conservative um, sort of going through here the fastest way is to not slide the cart to be honest but these um, starts of races are, are so so uh, sort of frantic, frenetic, and um, if you are battling people, it, it, you, you can block past them. It, you know, and if you're if you're too smooth, if you're too clean, then you're just going to have someone throw it up the inside, stuff it up the inside. As we make a slight mistake there, we go very wide. We're lucky to keep it out of the barrier, um, and. Um, here comes Jacob Owen there so you can see that yeah he's, he's not taking the fastest line um, but he he was able to get in front of me he was able to, to perform the block pass um, and unfortunately because we're on the left of um, two right hand bends we're going to lose one position there or two positions now in total and unfortunately we look like we're we're about to lose we have because we get pinched narrow there we're about to lose um, another position now two of these um, guys there's, there's Liam Duffett though who's just gone into the lead and, and the other guy who's just overtaken us they're lightweights so we're not in the same championship although we're all fighting for the same points we're not actually in the same championship so I'm not too worried about them um, I'm more worried about our second place man here who is our main um, title rival for um, for the heavyweight championship, so just trying to trying to get my head down, um, forget about that. Um, I did have a quick look behind, and, and I can see that we've got uh, uh, the four of us up here. We've got a, a reasonably healthy gap 
over the rest of the field. Just going to go up the, the inside and see what we can do here, but Jacob has the inside for the next corner. I go deep. It doesn't quite pay off, actually. Um, you know, perhaps went a little bit too deep there. If you go too deep into that corner, there's zero grip on the outside. So, um, you know, uh, even though it, it, you can square off the corner and get on the power, perhaps a little bit earlier, you're, you're doing so with less grip. Uh, so, uh, you yeah, know, we, we've lost a cart length or two there, and um, we're just going to have to do our best to uh, to try and get it back. Going through this, uh, this sequence of corners, it's a very, very busy part of the track. And then here, you can see that Jacob um, does get a little bit bit um, a bit sideways um, and um, and that's going to compromise him down uh, down the straight here now he takes a slightly different line he likes to go a little bit more aggressive I like to go a bit tighter we're gonna go up the inside but unfortunately um, it, it, we have to break just a little bit too late really um, in order to, um, to to get past him there's a bit of a lunge and no problem at all for him to uh, to, to take the position back again um, so yeah just a case now of trying to put him in un under as much pressure as possible it's a little bit frustrating actually um, to start on, on pole um, and uh, and to be down to fourth place I'm not too worried about anyone behind at this stage just because I can see that I think they've been having their own battle and, and, and that's allowed us four up front to get away you can see the two lightweights up front have, have begun to gap um, us a little bit now they will be a little bit faster down the straight but I don't think there, there's a huge difference in in weight um, and um, yeah this is Jacob again um, carries loads and loads of speed in we're, we're trying to be as, as smooth as possible put him under as much pressure as possible hopefully he's going to make a mistake but actually it's us um, around turn four there who, who makes a slight mistake and again you can see um, it's really clear and, and obvious just how um, Tiny of the tiniest little mistake can cost you a, a noticeable amount of time on track. And if we're going to win this championship, um, then those sorts of tiny little mistakes are going to be the difference. And uh, yeah, particularly when you're, you're you're racing against drivers with you know, such high quality. So again. Um, I think this part of the, the track, that's where I'm, I'm sort of particularly strong, we close back up um, and uh, yeah, we, can, um, we can sort the, the mess that I made out before. But the other thing that I have noticed, well, looking back at this footage, I think I need to square off some of these corners a little bit earlier, a little bit like I did there. Um, and uh, particularly I'm thinking about turn three. I think I need to straighten the cart a little bit sooner and uh, that will allow me to get on the power a little bit earlier as well. Now, um, I'm just going to stop talking here because this um, pretty much um, sums up the, um, the race here. It's, uh, it's a really, really uh, nip and tuck battle. Uh, at, the, at the flag, uh, Jacob's bow, uh, about a second ahead, uh, similar to, to what he is here, but um, I'm not actually able to, to sort of make any inroads, and, and he is actually probably a little bit quicker uh, than me, which um, I'm a bit confused about. I'm not really sure where my pace has gone because I felt pretty comfortably um, sort of quicker in practice, and, and that's not the case now. So I don't know if he was sort of sandbagging or. Um, or, or, or what I suspect actually is that in practice I was I was pretty relaxed and um, uh, you know sort of uh, perhaps letting the cart flow a bit more and, and now we're in a race and, and particularly as I've lost positions um, my uh, my steering inputs my, and particularly my throttle and, and braking inputs are just a little bit more frantic than they should be um, you know like I said try to always be as smooth as possible um, and the difference is, is very very subtle but it, I think for me it's particularly on the pedals uh, just look here I think I need to be round left more actually it wasn't too bad that time uh, round left more there um, and, uh, and get on the power when the, the car is slightly straighter but yeah like I said um, I'm going to um, uh, to to stop talking there and allow you to, to sort of hear the uh, the engine note and everything and um, I'll speak to you again very shortly at the start of heat two.
Okay, hi guys. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, just waving to a few spectators. Um, we've got some family uh, up there um, watching. So because we started on pole for heat one, the uh, the, heat, the the grids with the way we're gridded up. By the way, I should have mentioned in, um, uh, in at the start of heat one, the way that we are gridded up is random. Um, but however you are gridded up in the first heat will be kind of like mirrored in the in the second so if you start on pole for the first heat then you'll start last like we are um, in this heat and uh, yeah if you start mid pack in, in heat one you will also be mid pack in heat two so the green flag drops and again you can see jacob um is uh, ahead of us and getting a little bit bored of looking at the back of his car and i need to need to try and find a way to get in front so we started last it's going to be a bit more of a challenge um, as uh, we've got a driver in front getting, getting very sideways on the curb there. And I'm going to see if I can go all the way around the outside um, and, uh, and and see what we can do there. Now I do actually, by, by virtue of squaring the corner off and, and um, taking the wide line, get on the power slightly sooner. But uh, you can see Jacob's got the, uh, uh, the the inside line there, so we have to yield. We're actually three wide into, uh, into that corner there. So uh, yeah, always is pretty exciting. Uh, we go slightly defensive into the heavy braking turn six and uh we uh we get a good good drive actually um out of that that sort of final um final section and um and particularly off turn eight so um we're in the draft now i'm just gonna have a, a sort of slight look up the inside we've got jacob and we've got a guy called anthony unit now he i believe is the reigning heavyweight champion so he is a very handy driver and you can see jacob goes slightly wide there just nibbles into the back of um anthony and uh, that might give us an opportunity Opportunity. Jacob's had to go quite narrow there. He gives us space very fairly, and bang, we're going to do the pair of them. Now that, that did feel really, really good actually, because that's a couple of high, high quality drivers there, uh, and you don't put um, put moves like that over them regularly. We're going to go up the inside of another driver here, but unfortunately, it's not a clean move. I don't want a penalty, but unfortunately, my stupid mistake there. I don't know why I didn't just uh, you know, sort of. Um, so what I do know actually, if if I'd been too conservative there, then um, I, was, I was worried that I'd get um, someone throw it up the inside of me. Um, we don't quite have enough of the cart alongside to, to go for it, so we have to give him space, but he goes a little bit wide on the less grippy part of the track, um, and we get the job done. But again, we are we are looking at the back bumper of the wrong man here, unfortunately. Um, so uh, we're going to have to have to try our best to do something about it. it makes a slight mistake there um, and um, I don't know if I've just had a sort of chance to um, to, yeah, to, to gather my thoughts or something like that but um, I sort of so, somehow feel that for no particular reason I'm, I'm just a little bit faster again I don't know what it is and what's going on there um, going into uh, again turn eight and we're right on the, the back bumper of our um, of our, our rival in front uh, he's in the toe of this cart um, the uh, Jacob goes through I'm going to follow um, him through as well it's really really important we don't get separated by any kind of other driver because I need to um, to make some inroads I've now had um, yeah, the last two rounds where uh, where he's sort of outscored me quite quite considerably they ha I don't think they've updated the the points yet in the champ championship on the um, on the table online but um, I know that he's going to be ahead so really really important to, to try and um, reverse that as, as best I possibly can uh, and again he, he takes a slightly different line he likes to sort of drift out wide there and use a little bit more of a track um, I, I should probably try that given that he's sort of been fairly consistently faster than me um, but we're, we're not going to let him get away we're in his toe again um, and um, just trying to like I say put the um, put the pressure on as, as much as possible and and um, see what I can do to to try and um, force them into a mistake. Now, this is, I have to say, that exactly the sort of karting that I absolutely love. So we, we have a look up the inside of the, the very tricky turn four. Um, we're not quite alongside, so we have to um, have to have to break. Now, that probably one of the worst things you can do for lap time really if you uh, as martin brundle says this all the time there's no point in doing a half-hearted move you've either got to go for it um, or or not bother uh, what we did there actually just cost us a, a, a cart length and a half a half i think so um never mind um head down again uh in the toe again and 
doing our absolute best to put as much and and in fact Jacob has made a mistake there he's gone wide now there's no uh, no contact at all um, that was uh, just a, a mistake that he made going a little bit too wide into um, uh, into turn one we actually get a bumping warning I don't know if the marshal down there thought that I pushed him wide or something but I just I don't understand what that warning was for if anyone can inform me <laughs> then uh, you know feel free but um, yeah uh, that we are ahead and and that's the main thing so now kind of make sure that we stay ahead and I don't want to make the same mistake I'm beginning to use more of a track here um, there's our bumping warning just not sure <laughs> not sure what what that was for I can only assume that uh, sort of the, the marshal thought that there was contact when there wasn't but um, yeah, really, really important. You, you notice that I'm not using all the road on the exit, sorry, on, on, the, um, on the entry, um, as this is exactly what I don't want to happen. They, he's had to go really, really narrow there. It's not the fastest line around the track, um, and he's right there, but I, I snatched the, the apex uh, a little bit like the reverse of what happened uh, two laps ago. So again, um, hogging the, the middle of the track, he's not quite close enough. Now, uh, some of this I'm doing, you know, well, I'm, I'm basing my um, my positioning from, sometimes I, I see where he is, sometimes I turn around and, and I look at him, and sometimes I just feel, uh, you just feel the presence of, uh, of another driver, particularly when you're going really close. But he's in my toe now, I'm giving him the toe down the straight, 55 miles an hour, um, and uh, yeah, it's just, it's just uh, really, really intense. What I was saying before, actually, before um, before we, we started sort of making some moves on each other, was that this is exactly the kind of karting I absolutely love. Now, we're not going to be setting any fast lap times here, particularly as um, yeah, he's, he's sort of um, going in narrow, I'm going defensive, I'm not using all the, the track on the inside, I'm taking some um, yeah, sort of very, very defensive lines, as again, in the middle of the, the track there, swinging out wide to load the outside tyres up, um, and um, uh, yeah, it's, it's just so, so intense. There's absolutely, you know, no, there's nothing you can do um, at, the, at the moment other than focus entirely on what you're doing. And it's great because, you know, you're not worried about um, anything other than um, just the, the joy of racing, which is, uh, is, is really, really great. So I'm, I'm really, really loving this battle. Uh, going narrow. Again, I can sense that um, he was there. You can hear he you can hear his engine. I mean, you can't because I'm talking over you, but I'm talking over it. But um, uh, I can I can hear his engine, and, and I'm just being a little bit more sort of greedy on the way in to stop him from stuffing one up the inside and, and block passing me, so that I can't get on the the power where I want to. It's not the fastest way around this track. Uh, it's not the fastest way around any track, in actual fact. And and you can see that because the two lightweights who were ahead of us in. Uh, heat one are barely even visible. There they are, they're right at the end. Now there's a yellow flag here. Now the marshals stepped out onto the track. Now they normally only do that when um, the race is over, but I'm sort of thinking I didn't see the, the checkered flag here. Um, and um, there is the, the issue. We've obviously got a cart stopped on track. So um, I look at the next light box, you can see it there, it's not lit up, so we are racing again. Um, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad that I was um, sort, of, uh, sort of thinking um, thinking hard about that actually, um, because it would have been very, very easy and very, very frustrating to think that the race was over uh, and then have our title rival drive past us. That would have been a, a you know, the polite way of saying it's not good um, but anyway we're, we're racing again and um, the, the intense battle is back on like I was saying before you can you can barely even see the two in front we're not doing lap times that are sort of anything to be proud of at the moment just because of the defensive nature of the driving but um, hopefully we are putting on a good show for, for the spectators we've both got family there um, who are, are, are sort of having a look and as I'm getting very very sort of oversteery on the exit there um, I'm drifting wide but that's all right that's stops anyone um, from, from throwing it up the inside into the tight turn three, again hogging the, the inside road and, and the, the narrow line um, here in turn five for the very, very uh, long right-hander hogging me the middle of the road again um, and yeah, breaking all the way to the apex um, much much slower much much more difficult to overtake me though and again I, you can see that I'm going all the way to the, um, to the right hand side you can see Jacob's nose just there 
um, we know that he's not alongside so we can take all of the road on the way in and, and carry all of the speed uh, and we know also that we're going to be okay to do that for turn two as well um, I feel that a, a little bit of time has gone past these heats are 10 minutes so I don't want him um, having me on the last couple of laps so I'm not interested in anything else now really other than just not making any mistakes and taking the inside line now at this point I'm thinking there's a, a back marker ahead of us this could spell absolute disaster we do not want uh, a back marker being in the wrong place at the wrong time for us and stopping us from um, having a uh, the, the result we wanted but there is the checkered flag I don't think the back marker would have um, actually made any uh, made any impression on that race but um, we actually ended up finishing third in that heat so we started last um, and finished third first heat we started first and finished fourth so um, yeah heat uh, heat two going much much better than uh, than heat one now um, we're gridding up here for the uh, for the final and uh, you can see that the final is gridded up by um, your best lap time. So the two lightweights who we've been, um, I was gonna say fighting, not really fighting with, but we've been sort of looking looking at the back of them uh, all, all, long, all day long are um, on P1 and P2. And then Jacob and I are on, um, I'm P3 and he's P4. So we are, I am on um, heavyweight pole and he is heavyweight second but all is not well with my cart so we, we we've got the dummy grid all lined up here and i've tried to start it up it's not started and i felt something hit my leg and um what george the the marshal there is has seen is that something basically has exploded in the engine it's ripped the chain off the chain's hit my leg um and and what he's actually saying to me there is that he's really sorry but they don't have any spares um and uh, um, and at this stage there is the chain um, so we're not going anywhere without that and uh, yeah the rest of the field is um, is, is sort of waiting there um, yeah these guys are all sat in, in very very hot carts um, at the moment we don't know whether we are going to be competing in the final and this is an absolute disaster for the championship so really really worrying stuff now in the nick of time um, someone says to George in his ear that actually they have got another car it's, it's going to come down from engineering now um, so yeah thank you to um, the uh, the guys in the, the Daytona shed there who are, are you know who, who really sort of saved us um, there I am I'm just trying to um, trying to deal with the heat um, really really hot I'm stood in in sort of a couple of layers of fireproof overalls black fireproof overalls and um, if I just um, if I just sort of hold my head there can you see where my cart was the marshal picked something off the floor and that's actually I think it must be a little bit of engine casing or something like that uh, rather him than me I think it was it was pretty hot it was definitely metal um, because when he when he chucks it down here you can hear it clink but um, yeah that that was um, uh, that was obviously something that blew out the bottom of um, of the engine just as I tried to start it. So here is our replacement car. Unfortunately, it does mean for the, the second race in a row because we did have a failure in um, in in the the the, uh, the second heat, uh, meaning that. I went from, I think it was fourth to last. Um, my cart stopped on track, uh, couldn't restart. They never got it restarted, so I had to have a new cart. Unfortunately then, for the second race in a row, I'm competing in the final with a cold cart. And I don't mean that, well, I mean, the tyres will be slightly cold, but I'm not too worried about that, given that it's so hot today. The, the track temp is, is so, so hot. But it is full of fuel. Um, the other um, the other carts aren't, aren't going to be full of fuel, but oil is cold. Um, and, uh, and most importantly, I don't know how this car is going to feel. I don't know what the brakes are going to be like. I don't know where the power band is. I, I, I don't know um, just how much feedback I'm going to get through my feet and, and my ass and my, my hands. Um, so, um, you know, it, it, it's really not ideal. And, and I know these things happen. It, it's just um, it's just one of these things and we've got to do our best. Um, positive thing, though, is that we are, uh, you know, we have, have recorded the fastest lap for the heavies. Um, I guess I, I got that when I was in Jacob's toe in heat one. I can't imagine that we set faster lap times in, in heat two, given how defensive and uh, uh, we were. But given all the, the mucking about, unfortunately, uh, we're not going to get to see the, the full final. Um, and that's a real shame because 
Jacob and I have a, an almighty battle. It's, it's amazing. It's really, really um, good fun. Uh, it's sort of similar to um, to what you've seen already, but I would say it's sort of slightly better. Uh, there's a Hamilton uh, Verstappen esque move into um, into turn one, but luckily we both uh, live to uh, to tell the tale. So um, the green flag is going to drop there. I, I almost feel it's a little bit of a false start there from Jacob. You're supposed to sort of maintain position over the line, but it, it is what it is. Um, so uh, someone goes uh, very bravely around the outside there. Um, good on your son, but uh, unfortunately I don't think it quite works out uh, for him. Jacob actually gets himself up into P2, so really, really good start. We're going to try and follow him through, but of course doing that, particularly against a lightweight driver, means that you're always going to compromise your exit, and sure enough, there we are, uh, exit compromised. We've really got to try um, our absolute hardest to, to not let this get away. But like I say, unfortunately, we're not going to get to see it. So thank you very much for watching. It was a really, really epic battle. Jacob wins, I come second. The two that you see uh, in the lightweight class, uh, they are first and second as well. So well done. Looking forward to seeing you all at the next round. Um, until then, take care. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.